Here's a very popular exercise dealing with parallel lines. What, what it says is find the equation of a line parallel to y equals 3x minus 1 that goes through the point negative 2, 2. So what, what they'll do is they'll give you the equation of one line. Let's say it looks something kind of like uh, this. Let's say this is y equals 3x minus 1. And then they'll also provide you with a point like negative 2, 2 which is right about here. Here's negative 2, 2. And then they'll ask you for the equation of a new line that's parallel to the blue line, but that goes through the new point that they provided. So before we really do anything, can you look at this picture here and can you visualize what it is they want? Can you picture the line that they're after? What we want is a line that runs in the same direction as the blue line, that has the same slope as the blue line, that actually goes through the green dot. So hopefully you're thinking something along these lines. Maybe something that looks uh, kind of like this. So you see it's parallel to the blue line, but yet it goes through that green dot there. All right now, how, how on earth am I supposed to, to determine the equation of this yellow line right here? Well, let's just think about it for a minute. One thing I know is that the equation of any line is y equals mx plus b. So that's a good place to start, is I know that my, my answer will have this template or this form to it. Now, with this given information, can you read off anything else? Is there anything else that you can tell me about the equation of the yellow line? Well, hopefully you looked at the line they provided you, the blue line, and hopefully you noticed that its slope was three, up three over one, up three over one. Now, if our line is parallel to that, what does that mean? That means our line also has a slope of three, if they're, if they're gonna be parallel. So what we can do is we can take the m out and replace it with three. So we'll have y equals three x plus b. <clears throat> so really the only thing we don't know now is what the b value is. So is there maybe an x, y point that we know that maybe we can sub in temporarily so that we can solve for b? I think there is because right now there's three unknowns and I really need to knock that down to just one unknown, the, the b, so I can determine what b is. And sure enough, they say when x is negative two, the y should be positive two. That's, that's what this line going through that point means. And so let's do that. Let's change y to positive two and we'll make the x negative two. So we have two equals three times negative two plus b. And so two equals negative six plus b. And so b would be equal to eight. So I know the b and I know the m. And so I'm ready to write my final answer. So final answer, the equation of our line, the yellow line, would be y equals 3x, because it's got to be parallel to the blue line that also has a slope of 3, plus 8, which is the y-intercept that's necessary so that our line actually goes through negative 2, 2 as well. And sure enough, that sounds very reasonable. If you look at our line, it goes up, 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 up. It probably does cross the y-axis around 8, so that, that sounds very reasonable. So this would be your final answer. So this is, a, like I said, a very common exercise that we see all the time in algebra. And so we use the slope and the point provided to give the equation of our answer.